Hi everyone, today I will show how I do renders for 3 day furniture models. You can see examples here. I think it looks really good, so I want to share my render setup and explain what and why. I'll use a model from Interior Models Collection from the new update. Check out Interior Models, great value. A lot of models for not as high price. So let's go. Let's see. I use this model. This is a scene. For the camera settings, I used field of view and 20.4 perspective. For the plane, I use just generic plane with bevel. For the lights, I use sunlight with strength of 7 and angle 18.2. Color is white. One area light at the top of a model, one background lighting, one from the right, so let me show you, let's go to the render view, and for the world I use just NGDR for um, Polyhaven. So we have this, so HDR effect, sun, up light, background light for reflection at the back, and right light. One more thing I do, I use fine LUT to use a LUT in Blender. So where you render an image and you post process in Photoshop, you get 16-bit image. You can apply it there, but I actually like to apply the LUT in the Blender because Blender works with 32-bit images. So for example, you can choose any of the presets. I like it to make 0, 1, 2. If you like any, you can use. Uh, but I use my own lot. For the render settings, Final Lot sets it to standard. And I think it looks really good. Like you can use LUTs in the Blender, it's really cool. And the last thing, I use key cycles for tone mapping. So, for example, we can render it. I will render it in square resolution with, for example, 1080 samples. Now, let's do the second render. So, go to plane settings and make it shadow catcher and let's render it again. In the Photoshop for better shadows I like to add a clipping mask to our first render and I think like that it looks much better because just with shadow catcher it looks like that and even if you in compositing notes will change the shadow catcher you can play with it, you can play with brightness or how it looks. It never looked as good like here. Like here it looks more realistic, more soft. I merge layers with Ctrl E and I do some camera roll filters. Just you can play, I will do it really fast right now. some sharpening. Uh, 
and that's it. So that's how it looks. I think it looks good. So I hope you can take something from this video. Thank you so much for watching.